writes, in the new 52 and Injustice game, Aquaman is a very deep character with tons of badass feats. He's been ridiculed over the years, but I think if an actor such as Liam McIntyre were portray to portray his new 52 counterpart, the general audience would like him, giving the character a huge popularity boost. Plus, the discovery of Atlantis opens up a huge dynamic within the Men of Steel universe, considering the world is still coping with the existence of aliens. Mm. So, do you guys think WBDC should have Aquaman and their cinematic plans, and could you picture McIntyre in the role? I'm gonna admit something right now. I am one of those guys who constantly bullied Aquaman and mm -hmm. talked about how Aquaman <laughs> was just a stupid, idiotic, dumb character, and anybody who likes Aquaman probably kicks puppies. Um, I was one of those guys, I really was. And then I played Injustice Gods Among Us, and then due to the urging of a lot of AMC Movie Talk viewers, I started reading the new 52 Aquaman. And I started reading that. And I had to stop what I was doing and admit, you know what? Aquaman is a pretty damn good character. He's actually pretty damn fascinating. And in Injustice, he might be my favorite character in Injustice, Gods Among Us. I mean, he is, he might be the biggest badass of them all when you start seeing him, when you start seeing the story of Injustice, Gods Among Us. He's great. Um, so I have gone from the polar opposites of, dear God, Never let Aquaman near a Justice League movie, please, to hell yes, put this version of Aquaman in a Justice League movie. Now getting onto the issue about uh, McIntyre, I am a huge Spartacus fan. I love that show. I first got turned on to it because a really dear friend of mine played Spartacus's wife in the first season, and it's what kept me around because if, if you haven't seen Spartacus, by the way, the first three or four episodes, some of the worst television ever produced in history. Mm -hmm. And I only stuck with the show because my friend was in it. And I'm so glad that I did because it turned into one of my favorite shows of all time. But um, tragically, the star of the show, uh, Andy Whitfield, uh, he had cancer earlier in his life. It, he went into remission on cancer again. Uh, and then it came back. And sadly, he passed away. And so McIntyre came in and played Spartacus. And while I loved all the seasons that he was in, I never bought into McIntyre because it was just funny to me watching that show. It was like, in this army of gladiators, their leader is the wimpiest looking one of the bunch. And that wasn't the case with Andy Whitfield, and it was with McIntyre. But I haven't seen enough of McIntyre to give him a chance. Just because I didn't like him in Spartacus, he had all the, he, the chips were stacked against him because we all loved Andy Whitfield so much. But I don't think any of us have seen enough of him to give an educated you know, opinion about whether or not we think he would be a good Aquaman or not. So for now, I'll say no, but with the little asterisks that, hey, you know, maybe we'll see him some other stuff and that'll change my mind. Anyway, getting back to the bigger issue of Aquaman. Schnapp, do you think, are we at the point, is society ready for an Aquaman in a Justice League? <laughs> is society ready for a guy who can hang out and talk to fish? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I spend 85% of my life in the water <laughs> hanging out with fish, you know. Um, I think so. I mean, it, like, uh, I like the way the question uh, brought it into perspective, like, Earth is dealing with, you know, a guy from outer space. And now... A human-looking character who li who's from a destroyed planet. Why not, like, oh, and also here's Atlantis with other fish people, who, you know. <laughs> so I guess McIntyre better know how to swim, I guess, if they're going to cast him. But, um, yeah, you know what? I haven't read the new 52 Aquaman, so maybe I'll give him a shot because I'm still in that, like, eh, Aquaman. I like Namor from the Marvel Universe better because he just seems more of a badass. and he's uh, Aquaman always kind of, like, I still have super friends in my head. You, you know, know what, though? If you go to YouTube, and this is good for everybody to know, if you go to YouTube... You can search for Injustice Gods Among Us, and somebody has taken all the cutscenes from Injustice Gods Among Us and edited them together in one basically hour and a half long movie. Wow. And they've done it beautifully. Watch it. It's on YouTube, it's available. Go watch it because you will, it will, ch I'm telling you. Aquaman will come into your heart and change you <laughs> from the inside out. You will become an uh, you will become a loyal servant of Aquaman at right. that point. Anyway, I'm, I'm just now going off. Aaron, what do you think about the idea of Aquaman joining the big screen? Well, I have been waiting for an Aquaman movie for years and years, starring Vincent Chase. Hopefully, uh, just kidding. Uh, that's the first thing I think of when I think Aquaman. But to be honest, I think he's a cool character, and I have a place in my heart for the weird characters that nobody likes in comics or that people underappreciate in comics. So I definitely. Think 
think that this would be fun to see. I don't know about in Justice League, though. I'm not so sure if I want to see him in the mix there, but I think in his own movie, I would love to see him do a standalone. Liam McIntyre, I feel so unsure about. He's so new. The primary core of his IMDb credits outside of Spartacus are short films. So he's kind of new around. I don't know much about him, so I don't know if he's the right guy to do it, but I would like to see some Aquaman action. You know, I'm really, really curious that there are four of us in this room, and one of us is not a thorough comic book junkie, and I'd be really, and that's the vast majority of the movie going on. <laughs> so I'm curious, Chris Ali, as somebody who represents in this room the vast majority of the movie going audience, would you be interested in seeing an Aquaman on the big screen, either Justice League or his own? Because I know very, very little about Aquaman, other than the fact that he lives underwater and talks with fish, there would have to be something really enticing about the story for me. Um, maybe if he was presented in Justice League and I grew something that I really wanted to know more about him, at that point maybe I would want to see it. But at this point, like I'm more concerned about Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman. Like Those are my main priorities. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to AMC Movie News on YouTube. It's free and a great way to stay updated with all the latest movie news and check out our daily show, AMC Movie Talk. Also, don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Twitter to stay in the loop for our special prizes, giveaways, and contests.